So I take a couple minutes today just to show you how you can go about improvising a sandbag um, using a, a single long sleeve shirt. Now, the reason that I like to use a uh, long sleeve shirt instead of using a pair of jeans is because there's less sewing. It's not as, as you can see, it's not as wide, so there's less sewing that I have to do. And a shirt folds up into a really nice small package that you can put into the, your front cargo pocket of your pants. You know, you can easily fit two or three of these sandbags into your backpack or your tackle box. And to make the sandbag, it's very simple. What you do is just take your scissors and cut the shirt sleeve off to the length that you want your bag. This is where, after you cut your sleeve off, of course you have to s sew the sleeve back together at that point. Now this is what the sandbag looks like after it's been sewn back together and at that point. And you can see I just uh, put some paracord across the top just to hold it together. Kind of like an old fashioned lead ball bag that you'd carry for muzzle loading. <clears throat> well, of course, if I had to use two of these uh, sandbags, I would have more elevation, but I haven't uh, finished making the second sandbag just yet. <clears throat> to go into prone position, give myself some more elevation, I could take the shot that way if opportunity presented itself. Now, for you guys and gals that like to shoot black powder, these sand little sandbags come in very handy because you can set the buttstock of your rifle right on top of the sandbag. When you are seating your ball, you don't have to worry about your buttstock getting damaged. And this is just a couple, just a couple things that you can do with this style of sandbag. And I'll show you another thing that you can do with th this particular bag in my next video. And uh, I appreciate your, your time and uh, let me know uh, what else you'd like to see. And uh, thanks again for watching my video. Hope it helps.